Hey filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and today we're going to get into green screen. Now I've done this before, and there's always been a lot of questions about how to do some certain things, so we're going to dive a little bit deeper today. So stay right there, we'll be right back. Okay, there, there's actually several different methods of doing green screen replacement in DaVinci Resolve. You can do it from the color tab or you can do it from Fusion. I prefer doing it in Fusion. The results are better. You have way more control. And it's just, I, I just think it is the best way of doing it. And it, like I said, the results are better and that's really the end of it. So we're gonna dig into it and I'm gonna show you how to use the Delta Keyer and the clean plate to get the best results very, very quickly. So let's dig in. Okay, so here I've got a project with some green screen. It's basically the same setup that you just saw from, uh, I recorded this yesterday. And if you notice, we have this wall over on one side here that we're gonna have to deal with. And we have this area over here where you can see my, uh, basically my hallway, and we have some spill onto some equipment that's up here. So we're gonna need to deal with all that. So we're just gonna make sure we have that selected and go into Fusion. And right here, real simple, we have our media in, which is gonna be our footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that to video. And I'm gonna pull in this brick background here and I'm gonna hit F2 and change it to background. All right, so pretty simple so far. And first thing, I'm gonna make sure I have the video node selected here and sh hit Shift M and that's gonna bring up my tools and I'm gonna type in Delta and there's the Delta here. So we can select that. And this is the primary tool that we're gonna work with to get our green screening done. Now, this really is pretty much all you need to, to use. Uh, you can do some quick and dirty Delta Keen with just the Delta Keyer. And if you have a really clean subject, then you really just need to do this. And this is not a clean setup here. I've got uh, dirty monitors here. I mean, meaning I've got green spill. I've got these holes to fill. This is kind of an ugly, ugly setup here, but it's also more real world than grabbing some perfect keyed footage off of the internet and working with that. So we're gonna see how this works. Now, to make this easier, we're gonna use a clean plate. And basically that's gonna tell Fusion kind of what is the background color and help mix it in a lot better. So I over here, I'm gonna just not have anything selected, hit Shift M and bring up my clean plate. So I'm gonna go from the video to the yellow on the clean plate and from well, we'll get to that. So let's hit one and bring the clean plate up in the left-hand monitor. And I can come over here and there's a couple options here. I can do color or ranges. So if I do color, I can hold down on the thumbnail, or I mean on the dropper and just drop it in there and we can start getting that. Or I can go to ranges and this can help select a kind of a range of color. So I'm gonna do that right there. And our goal is to fill this screen with the background color as, as best we can. So I'm gonna erode it just a little bit just to kind of clean up some of the edges here. And if all is well and good, I can simply just grow the edges and fill it in. But this is obviously not gonna work with this setup. So I'll reset that and just click on fill. Not very pretty. Definitely not where we wanna be with this. So 
I'm going to change it from ranges to color and I'm just going to select what I think is a pretty good color area here. And now we have this mosaic of stuff <laughs> for lack of a better word, but let's, let's fix this up. We'll go to our clean plate, make sure that's selected, hit shift M and type in blur. So I'll put that over on that side so we can see it. Come over here to a Gaussian blur, and I'm just gonna crank this blur size all the way up. So there we have kind of a nice clean-ish plate going on. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the delta here up there, and we'll zoom in. And what I can do is, well, let's uh, let's get a result going here. Let's let's do that. So I'm gonna select the delta key here, hit Shift M, and type merge. So this will give our final output over here on the right hand monitor. And I'll take my background here, and I'm gonna drag it up onto that green arrow there. And it's pretty much exactly opposite from what we want. So if we right click on this. We can go up to swap inputs and on the Mac it's command T. So now we have our footage on top of it, but our, our background is kind of wigging us out here. So with the background selected, hit shift M, go to resize, and that should fix that. Okay, so now our video is on top of our background, which is exactly what we want. We want the video to be a foreground and the background to be the background. Now we need to kill the, uh, the green screen effect here. So I'm going to move these over here. And if we mouse over these nodes, we can see one is Delta here, the effect mask. The other is the garbage mat. We have a solid mat and we have a clean plate. Come on, show it to me. Well, sometimes the tooltips work and sometimes they don't, but we're gonna go from the blur over to the pink and wham, pretty simple. And actually extremely, extremely clean. I mean, look at the hair in that. It did a great job without really having to do much. However, let's look over here. <laughs> that green spill has pretty much destroyed the monitors. We still have to deal with the wall over on the right side, and we have to deal with this hole over here. So, a couple things we can do. First, we need to create some masks to get rid of these areas over here. So, without having anything selected, I'm gonna do Shift M, and go to rectangle. Now the other thing I could do is come up here to my shape tools and just click on rectangle. And you'll see it puts the rectangle on the screen here. So I'm gonna size this guy up a little bit. And we'll drag it down. And what we need to do is connect this to our garbage mat. So that is gonna be the gray one over here and I'll just drop that onto the gray node, and boom, there we go. Pretty simple. Okay, let's take care of this area up here. And I'll zoom in, and without having anything selected, I'll select a polygon tool. It's gonna end up over here, and I'll start drawing the polygon on here. Fortunately, I don't have to be too precise other than the top of this monitor and I'll connect that to the rectangle. All right, looking good. And I'll just unselect that. Now we've got a couple little issues here. We have this line up here where that garbage mat connects to the rest of it. So we want to clean that up and we still need to clean these monitors up a little bit. So unfortunately, we're not quite done yet. Let's select our Delta here, and let's just look at some options that we have in here. We have pre-mat, eh, probably not what I'm looking for. We go to our mat, 
and here we have threshold. This is what we're going to be looking at. So if I adjust the low side up, we can see that it really fills things in, but that's pretty much the opposite effect of what we want. Let's take the high side and pull it down and we can actually restore some of that by telling it to eliminate some of the, the spill. And if we crank up that low side just enough to get that line to disappear, we're in pretty good shape. So quick and dirty, not, not that difficult. And you just kind of have to watch those steps. Connect the clean plate up, do a blur on it, try and get it as solid as possible. Connect that up to the delta here. Use rectangles or polygons to create a garbage mat and take that into a merge node with your background and make sure the background and foreground are correct and you are good to go. So using DaVinci Resolve with Fusion should not be that difficult to get really, really good effect with green screening. Now it doesn't have to be green. If you actually, I'll actually look at this one. This is from Westcott here and the back side of it is actually blue. So depending on the colors in the scene, I can just flip that over and either have it as a green screen or a blue screen. The same thing is going to work while we're doing our editing. So that is green screen techniques with DaVinci Resolve using the Delta here and the clean plate. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate it. We are coming up on close to 15,000 subscribers, and I'm going to have a giveaway pretty soon because of that. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.